Hello and welcome, I'm Johnny and you want to easily find and recommend awesome VS Code extensions. People will often ask about the plugins I use in my videos, my favorite VS Code extensions that make my dev life much easier. But did you know, if you open up any of the repos I make for you for my videos, you'll get a prompt to install my recommended extensions specifically for that project. And you too can have this happen in your projects and get that sweet nod of approval from your colleagues. All it takes is one file. Let's go through it together. So how this works is with a single .vs code extensions JSON file. And we can even have VS code set it up for us using the command palette. I can bring mine up with command shift P for palette and if I start typing recommend, it'll show me configure recommended extensions as a result. Selecting this command will scaffold that .vs code extension JSON for us. And do note that even though it's JSON, comments are allowed. All we need now is to add the extensions we want to recommend in this recommendations array. What's out though, we're not meant to add the extension names here. We need to add the extension identifiers, which are strings we can find in its plugins page. But ain't nobody got time for that, so let's go to our terminal and execute the code list extensions command, which will print the identifiers we want for every extension we've got installed. We can copy that output, paste it in our array, and do some multi line select magic to end up with a perfectly formatted array of strings. All we need now is to go over what we actually want to recommend, prune this array to just the plugins we really like and are relevant to the project. So maybe the project is not in Golang, maybe Dracula is just a theme you like, maybe there is no GraphQL or Prisma here, and so on. Special word of warning, if you are adding this file into a shared project, I strongly advise being especially gentle with your recommendations. People love overanalyzing things like this and can get very defensive. Engineering can be a taxing job with tough problems to solve, so some engineers really love getting passionate about the meaningless problems that are easy and stress-free, and can be especially skeptical of automation that takes these problems away from them. The satisfaction you get from an easy win can be very addictive. As an example, I was an early adopter and big advocate for Prettier, the code formatting tool for JavaScript that I think at this point is universally beloved. However, even last year I had another senior engineer been extremely upset. I spent all of five minutes of my precious time creating a PR to set it up. In their opinion, there were bigger problems to spend five minutes solving, and engineers benefit from manually adding and removing line breaks, commas, and semicolons. Now, this is a brilliant engineer we're talking about, so I'm not including this anecdote to make fun of them. Just to highlight that anyone can get defensive about things that can potentially affect their workflows. People want to be heard, they want to make their arguments, they want to support with their contributions. So ensure they are included in something like this. In any case, once we're happy with our list and have it committed in our repo, we're done. People will get that pop-up the first time they open the project up, and you'll always be able to see your recommended list in the extensions panel in VS Code. However, keep an eye out for the recommended by users of the current workspace headline, as I find the ones VS Code recommends are usually trash. Speaking of, there is also the unwanted recommendations key, where you can explicitly add extensions to avoid. To be fair, I am mostly joking when I say most of the extensions VS Code recommends are trash or irrelevant. I'm sure their developers did a great job and they've accomplished whatever they set out to do with their plugins. It's just that they slow my workflow down the way I use them. So I wouldn't go out of my way to name drop extensions to avoid. If you find them useful, who am I to say don't use them? But if I had to put something here, it'd be any of the HTML tag renaming plugins. They're often junky and they always break the undo redo functionality, which I use all the time. And I still see them recommended in blogs and TikToks and whatnot, even though they've got bad reviews, even though VS Code natively has the linked editing option you may enable to achieve the same effect with undo and redo working. However, this linked editing still doesn't work with JSX, for example. So again, if you really want to add the extension, 
be my guest. Let me know if I should elaborate on any of the extensions I do recommend. One of my earliest videos is about setting up the Svelte plugin for VS Code. Give it a watch, I know I will not, as I am turning red in the face just talking about it. However, YouTube thinks this video is awesome. Thanks a bunch for watching, I'll see you around.